Hi friends, our today's topic is ratio and proportion and ratio and proportion is very important as part of quantitative aptitude. So let's understand the concept of ratio and proportion and try to solve few of the questions. So what is the question is if A is to B is 5 is to 7, B is to C is 6 is to 11 then you have to find out the ratio between A, B and C. Okay. Suppose if you have given some ratio boys is to girls is 10 is to 15. Okay. So it does not mean the number of boys is 10 and the number of girls is 15. See this is just the ratio which can be any value. So right, see if you multiply 2 on both the sides then it will become 20 and this will become 30. Right? So there may be a chance that the number of boys may be 20 and number of girls may be 30. See 10, 15 this is a ratio again 20, 30 can be a ratio again 30 45 can be a ratio so these are the these are just the ratio these are not the values right so if anywhere boys is to girls ratio is given as 10 is to 15 and if we have to write in terms of value then we can write 10x and girls we can write 15x right after this there may be a statement given that total number of student total number of students is nothing but 50 so what we can do we can proceed it so total number of students will be what boys and girls so 10x plus 15x will be what 50 and here 25x will be 50 and then we can say the value of x will be 2 so once we will get the value of x is equal to 2 then we will put it here so 10 into 2 is 20 and 15 into 2 will be 30 and this will be the number of boys and girls but if they have given in the terms of ratio that will not be the number of boys and the number of girls so this should be very much clear right now how to find out the ratio of a is to b is to c if a is to b and b is to c is given so let's understand here a is to b is equals to 5 is to 7 and b is to c is equals to 6 is to 11 now in this what is common so we can see b is common right so try to make the value of b as same right so you see here 7 is there and here 6 is there so how can we make the value same so for making the value same what we can do is we can multiply this into 6 and we can multiply b is to c by 7 right so if you multiply what it will become 5 into 6 is 30 and 7 into 6 is 42 and again 6 into 7 is 42 and this was 6 is to 11 and 11 into 7 will become 77 right now see the value of b is same so my ratio a is to b is to c will become 30 is to 42 is to 77 right and we will try to further divide it but further division is not possible so this will become my answer or this will become my ratio a is to b is to c question number two if a is to b is given as 8 is to 15 b is to c is given as 5 is to 8 and c is to d is given at 4 is to 5 then we have to find out a is to b right so a is to b i can write it also like this 8 by 15 b is to c i can also write it 5 by 8 and c by d also i can write it 4 by 5 now this is equation 1 and suppose it's equation 2 and suppose it's equation 3 so if i multiply all the three equations see what will happen so a by b into b by c into c by d r is equal to 8 by 15 into 5 by 8 into 4 by 5 right see this b and b will get cancelled c and c will get cancelled so this will become a by d ratio right now here 8 and 8 will get cancelled right and now 5 this will get divided by 3 times so it will become 4 by 15 right but we do not have 4 by 15 option here right so instead of that see this we can write it like this also and this if we we'll multiply 2 on both the side then it will become 8 is to 30 right see if we have 8 is to 30 you can also write that 4 is to 15 right 2 4 ja and 2 15 ja so when you can write 8 is to 30 is 4 is to 4 is to 15 then why can't you write 4 is to 15 is to 8 is to 30 both are same so ratio will never change ratio will never change if we multiply or divide if we multiply or divide same thing on both side same thing on both side so here what we are doing 4 is to 15 multiplying to both the side 
so this will become 8 is to 30 now see where is option so option a will be your answer right question number 3 is 2a is equals to 3b is equals to 4c and then they are asking is the ratio of a is to b is to c right suppose instead of these three terms we have only 2a is equals to 3b then what will be the ratio between a and b so how will you find it out see a by b i will bring this side will be 3 by 2 i can also say a is to b will be nothing but 3 is to 2 right ok that means if 2a is equals to 3b is given then we cannot say a will be equal to 2 and b will be equal to 3 that means a is to b ratio will be 3 is to 2 sorry 2 is to 3 this will be wrong right we will have to bring in a proper form and then only we can say a is to b ratio will be 3 is to 2 so if any equation is given like this what you have to do you have to take the lcm so lcm of 2 3 and 4 will be what 2 1 3 times and this is 2 2 times so 2 into 3 into 2 that will be nothing but 12 now divide the equation by 12 so 2a by 12 is equals to 3b by 12 is equals to 4c by 12 this will go by 6 times this will go by 4 times and this will go by 3 times now i can say my a b c ratio will be 6 is to 4 is to 3 right directly we cannot write the ratio from here is 2 is to 3 is to 4 that will become wrong we have to take the lcm and then divide it and that time we will be getting the ratio so my answer will be 6 is to 4 is to 3 which is nothing but c thanks for watching the video